I feel like a young man at, at, at age 80, verse 5, talks about it. But many men have looked for the fountain of youth. Every time you turn on the television, they're trying to sell you some products that will alter the aging process. Men and women are all uh, over this world are seeking some kind of way to extend their life here on earth. <laughs> but I tell you what, if you want to extend your life, accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And not only will he give you good life here on earth, but he'll give you everlasting life. Hallelujah to his name. Yes, the Spanish explorer Ponce, Ponce de Leon searched across the known and unknown world looking for the found, fountain that give everlasting life and, and, ever, and youth. But the problem with his search is that he looked in the wrong place. <laughs> yeah, he should have been looking to God. God has it, and he has given it to those who believe in his son, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus, for everlasting life. Thank you, Jesus, for the blood that cleanses us. Uh, there is a fountain filled with blood drawn from his manual vein, but sin a plug, believe that flood, lose all thou guilty stain. So I just want to suggest to you this evening that we should never forget the benefits and the blessings of God. And that's why I love to praise him, because I know where my blessings come from. Search all over, couldn't find nobody. <laughs> couldn't find nobody like Jesus. Uh, yeah, I searched the Old and the New Testaments and found various reasons why we ought to be thankful to God. I'm getting ready to close, y'all. I'm not going to keep you here this evening. Uh, but in Genesis, thank God, uh, there's a reason that uh, we ought to praise him. He is uh, our creator. In Exodus, there's a reason we ought to uh, praise him and bless his name. He's our deliverer. In, 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 in Leviticus, he's our high priest. In Deuteronomy, he's our inheritance. In Joshua, uh, he's our leader. In Judges, he's our judge. Aren't you glad God is a judge? Uh, uh, God, God is the one that's going to judge us ultimately, and he's a just judge. Okay. In Ruth, he's a kinsman redeemer. In Samuel, he is the faithful king. In Ezra, he restores our fellowship. In Psalm. He is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Thank you, David, So for uh, Psalms 103. <laughs> In Proverbs, he is wisdom. In Isaiah, he is the wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting father, prince of peace. In Matthew, he is the promised Messiah. In Mark, he is the suffering savior. In Luke, he is the great physician. In John, he is the word made flesh, and he came to dwell among us. Hallelujah to his holy name. Hey, Sabrina. <laughs> Good to see you. Hope you told, hope you told uh, uh, your uh, kid, uh, Tim what I said the other day. Yeah, but in John, he is the word made flesh. Mm -hmm. In Acts, he sends the Holy Ghost. In Romans, he is good news in bad situations. In Rome, in Revelation, he is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the first and the last. Yes, he's the beginning. And he, there's nobody like our God. <laughs> nobody like the Lord Jesus Christ. I don't care where you go. Uh-uh. He's a creator. Nobody can understand who he is, but he's worthy to be praised. You ought to bless his name. And I declare, I'm going to bless his name as long as there's a breath in my body. As long as I can talk, I'm going to bless the name of Jesus. Isn't he good? <laughs> yes, he is. 
He's a good God and a worthy God to be praised. I, I, I give him to anybody. I tell anybody, you need the Lord in your life. Yes, you do. And especially now, you need the Lord in your life. I, 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 I praise him tonight. I praise him and I share him every chance I get because God is a mighty, mighty good God. I thank him and I praise him and I bless his name. Psalm 103 is where David said, bless the Lord, don't you forget his benefits. Don't forget his benefits. Let me say this and I'm done with you tonight. I'm done. Listen, you were not made for you. You were made to praise God. That's what you were made uh, to do. Uh-uh. You were not made to get glory for yourself. You were made to get glory for the Lord. You were made to magnify God. How, how are we to magnify him? By blessing his name. Letting the world know that he's real. Yes, he is. And that he will save Whoever calls upon his holy name. Yes, you bless him with me and I'll bless him with you because he is worthy, so worthy. And I join David in this psalm in saying that uh, we ought to bless him because of who he is and what he's done, what he's doing, and what he's going to do. One of these old days, we're going to be there, world without end. We're going to praise him throughout all eternity. I don't know what you're going to do when you check out of here, but I know where I'm going, and I know what I'm going to be doing. Amen. God bless you tonight. God keep you is my prayer. Amen. Amen. God bless you, New Sardis. God bless you all. Listen, I, 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 I'm getting ready to go here now, but uh, we want to open, uh, 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 extend an invitation to anyone that would like to accept uh, the God that I've talked about through the Lord Jesus Christ as personal Savior uh, so that when you leave this world, you can have everlasting life. You can do it tonight if you just call on the name of the Lord and uh, call on him, all right? Acknowledge that you're a sinner. Acknowledge that he died to save you, okay? That he lived, he he died, he stayed there three days, three nights, uh, but early Sunday morning got up with all power in his hand, and he's got power sufficient to save your soul. I don't care how lost you think you are, God can save you tonight, and God can give you brand new life. He can make your life brand, brand new. And he's given you everything you need uh, to be all that he intended for you to be uh, while you live on the face of this earth. Amen. There will be a document on the uh, screen uh, when we finish up here this evening. If you'll follow the prompts on that document, uh, someone will be there on the other end and talk to you about uh, your relationship with God, uh, talk to you about salvation, uh, or talk to you about becoming a member of the New Sardis uh, Fellowship, okay? And yes, you can have a relationship with God. You can be a member of the New Sardis Church family, and someone will be there for you. I love to serve as your pastor. I'm going to do whatever God leads and directs me to do uh, so that you can say you have a pastor, and the pastor is doing what you need him to do whenever you need him. 